All right, thank you so much for the honorable Campbell Garvin representative here for South Carolina. Thank you so, so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and day uh, to connect with the TRIO community with NSLC and share about your experience. Um, could you briefly just describe to us your, your current role that you're involved in um, and what NSLC provided to you and in and, and your current leadership role and position? Awesome. Yeah. So again, my name is Cambrell Garvin. I am a 2006 alum of the NL, of the NSLC program up in Washington, went up to Washington, D.C. and just had a really, really amazing experience. But before I get to that, I was elected to serve as a member of the South Carolina House of Representatives in 2018. And I oftentimes credit my NSLC uh, experience uh, with, you know, with, with really laying a foundation uh, for wanting to be a part of public service, being able to debate bills and legislation and being able to see how that process works and uh, being able to interact with elected officials was, was really key uh, in my development as a leader. So now today as a member of the South Carolina General Assembly, I'm always sure to take time to meet with young folks because I know just how formative that experience was for me as a young as a young adult to be able to have the, the ability to interact with those who are in positions of decision-making. Thank you so much for that. If you could briefly just maybe give some, some advice for some young people who may, may be on the fence about participating in NSLC or maybe might be on the fence about um, being involved in uh, political engagement or civic duty and engagement, or maybe even being involved locally in their, in their school, maybe class board or something along those lines. Are any, any little piece of advice you maybe give to them? Certainly. So I want to encourage all the young folks that are listening to this message on today to get involved. It's never too early to start giving back to your school community, to your local community, uh, to your state, even to your nation. I just think that we have an opportunity to really do some good work. Uh, I, I know that I started as a sixth grader. I was a middle school student and I ran for my first position as the homeroom representative. And that was my first opportunity to really be able to talk to my peers and be able to, you know, kind of share why I wanted to be involved. And all these years later, those same experiences still translate into the really important work that I do. Uh, you know, as a member of the General Assembly. And I, I, tell, I also want to tell young people that your age should never dictate your contribution. Just because you're young or maybe, you know, just because you can't vote just yet because you haven't hit the age of 18, that doesn't mean that you can't be a part of the solutions to making uh, our world a better place. Thank you so much for the, the, the kind words and, and the, the information to bestow upon the, the young people and wisdom uh, Representative Garvin, thank you so much for that. I don't know if you have anything else you want to part ways with or any any other uh, closing words, uh, but this, this has been amazing. This has been great. Yeah, so I'll just simply say uh, I want to encourage everyone listening today, you know, that the National Student Leadership Congress was such a really important a program for me. Uh, and it really kind of shaped my development as a leader. And I encourage all of those that are listening who may be on the fence or who may be unsure about whether or not this program is right for them to just take a chance and do it. Um, I was a, a 12 or 13 year old during the time when I came up to Washington DC and really was able to meet my congressman and uh, be engaged with the TRIO program at a national level. And now all these years later, it's certainly an honor to be able to reach back and just kind of pay it forward because somebody took the time to reach out to me. And so I know that there are some young people out there in 10 or 15 years or even sooner who will be doing the same thing for future generations of young people. You heard it here. Much love. Thank you so much, Representative Garvin, for your words, for your work. Take care, everybody.